Hey, I sell shirts, hats, pillows. You can buy them if you want. I don't care. Check the comments for a link. So where would you like to visit? Berwyn, Illinois? No. Albuquerque, New Mexico? What? I was actually thinking of someplace warm. Uh-huh. And tropical. Tropical, yes, yes. With lots to see and definitely no Steve. Yeah. Uh-huh. And maybe even, wait a second, what are you even writing? A baby mouse. Can we get back on topic now? Okay, okay. So warm. Uh-huh. Tropical. Yes. No Peter Steve. Uh-huh. And lots of baby mouses. What? No! Just give me two tickets to somewhere hot. It can be anywhere. Anywhere. Whew. It's getting hot in here. Where are we even headed? I don't know, but Soggy did say it would be hot. Well, did he give you anything? Just that envelope. I assume it has tickets in it or something. Give me that. What is it? It looks like a baby mouse. What? Uh, I knew I should have said Aruba or something. Yeah. We should be arriving at our destination in two minutes. So, Roberta, where are we even headed? To a baby mouse. What? Besides the baby mouse? We're headed to Coro 7B. Carrots and seven bees? Sounds like my grandpapa's recipe for shepherd's pie. Am I right or am I right? Tell me I'm right. No, you're not. I said Coro 7B. It's an extremely hot exoplanet that's actually pretty cool. Meet Coro 7B. A fiery exoplanet discovered in 2009 by the Convection, Rotation, and Planetary Transit Satellite, which is actually how it got its name. This exoplanet is located in the Monoceros constellation, which is Greek for unicorn, about 480 light years from Earth. That's equal to nearly three quadrillion miles. This exoplanet is what is known as a super Earth. This means that its mass is greater than Earth's but much lower than the ice giants Uranus and Neptune. But when it comes to size, it's a little less than two Earths. And like the many other exoplanets we've discussed in past videos, it has a lowercase letter at the end of its name. This is because it's the planet closest to its host star, Coro 7. So that would technically make its star Coro 7a, and this planet 7b. And there's also a Coro 7c, and possibly even a D. Warning, guy. Spaceship will overheat in 10. No. Oh. Hold on a second. Much better. What? Andy, you can't just take your sweatshirt off. YouTube is going to censor... Uh, oh, no. What happened? The YouTube people must have seen you take your sweatshirt off. And they blurred you. Oh no. Ugh. One second. Is that better? Yeah. Much better. Enough with the shameless plugs of our merch, Andy. We're here! Wow. It's getting hot. Do you want a glass of water or something? No, I'm totally fine. Maybe like an ice pop or a gator. Uh... What did you do to my friend? Who, me? No, the other fiery planet that burns everything in its path. Of course you! I'm sorry, it's just who I am. Yeah, I know. Roberta told me you live in a unicorn and are super hot or whatever. Yeah. Well, there's a lot more to me than that. Like what? How about I just show you? I orbit just 1.6 million miles from my star. That's 23 times closer than Mercury is to the Sun in our solar system, and about 60 times closer to its star than Earth is. Since I'm so close, I'm super hot. And years on me are incredibly short. One year on Coro 7b is equal to about 20 hours on Earth. Since I'm so close to my star, 
I'm tidally locked to it. This means one side of me always faces the sun, and that side is extremely hot. It can reach temperatures up to 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Meanwhile, the other side of me is actually cold and can get as low as negative 350 degrees Fahrenheit. My hot side is so hot that it may even rain rocks here. Experts believe that the only atmosphere I have comes from the vapor rising from hot molten rocks in what may be large lava lakes or a lava ocean. Eventually, the pebbles will condense out of the air and rain rocks into large pools of molten lava below. Experts believe that I am rocky and possibly the inner core of a gas giant that's been vaporized after getting too close to its star. Hey, uh, is your friend okay? He looks a little... off. Hold on, I'll do the test. Oh look! I found a perfectly cooked plate of chicken parmesan and a bottle of unopened crystal Pepsi. What are the chances? Never mind. He's a goner. Yeah. Oh, sorry about that. It's fine. Most people tune in just for Justin and the pop culture references anyway. Yeah. So, let's talk volcanoes. What about them? Either you've got a ton of them or some wicked acne. Oh, no. I have volcanoes. Some of the craziest you've ever seen. He's right, you know. And I've actually heard of them before. Some of the most legendary volcanoes we've ever seen are on Io, one of Jupiter's many moons. This moon has such strong volcanic activity due to something called tidal heating. Let me explain. Io's volcanic activity is caused by the powerful force of both Jupiter's gravity and Io's neighboring moons, Europa, Callisto, and Ganymede. Jupiter pulls Io inward towards itself, while the gravity of the outer moons pull it in the opposite direction. As a result, Io's interior is stretched and squeezed. This friction creates a ton of heat and pressure within Io, causing molten material and gases to erupt onto the surface. And Coro 7b has a similar story. The gravitational tugs from one of its two sister planets may push and pull the surface, creating friction that heats the interior of the planet. This heating could cause a ton of volcanic activity across its surface. Tons of volcanoes, really close to your sun. This isn't exactly the tropical vacation I had hoped for. Oh, sorry about that. It's okay. First the whole bad vacation thing, then losing Mr. DeMeo. It's like we keep having one bad thing after another. Hey guys, thanks for watching. See that shirt right there? It's the one Andy wore in this video, and you can have your own. And there's a secret coupon code in this video that you can use to get money off when you buy it. Check the comments for a link. But now, on to my patrons on Patreon who help keep this channel alive. Especially Stephen McPhee, Eliza Griffiths and Jonathan Griffiths, Ada S., Freddie and Esther Green, Toothless and Light Fury, Timmy C., Amelia and Alan Mills, Lily Annabelle Slifko, Jean Amy Patterson, Kate and Sarah, Jameson and Isla Smith from Arkansas, Ronan X and Raiden Z, Miller Daniel and his mom Jennifer, Julian, Jackson, and Jacob, Brandon, Favaza, and Mommy, Luke Bradley, Jakey Jake, Lizzie, Dean, and Trevor, Beatrice Ballar, Gavin Watt and his cool dad, Elijah Robert, Evan Lee, Edward, Mr. Fast, and Mr. Red, Nora Close, Hannah, Maya, and Zoe, Alexander, Julian, and David, Philip and Anna Buckley, Lillian and Davis Sozen, Henry Bull Beddows, Nathan and Ava C, Asher Evans, Greg Matlock, Kuchan115, Eliza Sawyer, Oshi, Gabe and Elijah, Chris the Megalodon, Gavin Huggin, Aiden J, Solomon Caldwell and Asa Caldwell, Wesley C, Julian and Joseph Pierce, Victor B from Canada, Creative Devin and Zach T, Haley and Ethan Hebert, Mary Margaret M, Connor Lecoque and family, Mrs. Brown's first grade, Max C, Jasper Source Rex, Mabel and Graham, 
Tobin and Nina, Miera and Mrs. Logrande's second grade class, Christopher F., Ethan and Axel, Gavin and Ian Eshte, Grant and Ara Brown, Carter Levi and Fletcher Crawford, Aiden Fenway Riley, Gavin Meidel, Charlie Stone, Connor Higgins, Ian Parker and Braylon Callis, Jack Hartzler, Jameson Nolan and Lily, Henry Pavelko, Harper Lily and Thatcher McCoy, Harper Benson, Cora Ayer and Joby Douthit, Lydia and Finn Biersch, William Andrew and Charlie Wallenstein, Charles and Olivia, The Amazing Mike, Georgie and his Grammy Genie and Grampy Mike, Amelia Silva, Harrison Eastwood, Rebecca Beanie, Marley and Lennon Kimsey, Callum G, Mika, Jordan and Maya, Caillou, Benny and Finn Miller, Lily, Annabelle, Thomas and Everett, Farron Witter, Noah Chin, The Rivard Boys, Sam and Eddie from London, Ben and Ollie, Jason the Kid Parker, The Gowker Family, Lennon, McCartney, Jones, Page, Avalon and Cash, Luke and Lily Hurlitz, GC, JJ Schmidt, Millie Fennell, Judah, Connor and Emma B, Jordana and Aaron, Lachlan Connor, Hannah Y, Luke Raposa, Witten, Cruz, and Reese Miller. If you want to get your name in a video too and help me make more videos, visit patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo. If you sign up, you can get your name in a video, see my videos early, and more. Check the description box for a link. Now let's do some fan art. I got this one from Marquito in Louisiana. I think he drew me the Titanic. Thank you, Marquito. I got this one from Henning in Georgia. He drew me with a chicken parmesan shield. That's pretty cool. I got this one from Sophia in Maryland. She drew pretty much everybody. I love drawings of Soggy Otter and Rapsberry Lime and Water Balloon Guy, so she had to go in there. I got this one from Toria in Indiana. She drew pretty much everybody, especially Krusty Face. Even though we've never seen him, she's actually pretty close to what he looks like. I got this one from Diego in Los Angeles. Perfect Andy drawing. I got this one from Thatcher in Texas. He remade my animal communicator. Very cool, Thatcher. I got this one from Francesca and her sister in Texas. She drew the Spinosaurus with the ballet uh, tutu on and Soggy Otter. As you guys know, I love Soggy Otter drawings. Thank you guys. If you want to feature your fan art in my video, send a picture to me to Mr. DeMeo, PO Box 58, Keyport, New Jersey, 07735.